So recently we had Johnny come through uh, to do some work on tech. Uh, he wanted to look into how he could improve his ball flight, how he could improve his game to get his scores even lower. So Johnny's already someone that plays um, a low single figure golf, but still wants to set some standards and go better. So something interesting from him was how he used the ground to create power and um, how efficient he was in generating power. So you'll see from the screen on here, uh, this is just using a mid to long iron. I think we were hitting six irons on the day. And as we start the backswing, you'll see on the right hand side here, we have his right foot, his left foot, and then this is his vertical force by pressure. Now this green wavy line tells us how he's unweighted and then how he's pushed into ground um, to create the force. So let's have a look at what he does on the backswing. So to set up the good work, he swings to the top. You see how well he's loaded weight onto his right side. And in particular on this day, we were working at trying to get his weight towards his right heel to help him to rotate better. So he's got 83% of pressure on his right side. This then allows him that he's got some space to move into on the way down. And you'll see that we've got 47% by this point in terms of unweighting from the ground. As we start to go into the downswing, we shift that really fast onto our left hand side. You can see it's like a heat map. So when it goes red, it's hard fast pressure going to his left foot. And you see it's really peaked up to 138% of pressure. Now what's really interesting with Johnny is that he's got a double peak in terms of how he uses the ground. So if we're watching this in really slow-mo, we can see that he moved his weight from his right to his left. And you'll see his left foot is about to come up off the floor, which sends his pressure back towards his right side and unweights the ground. And then he can move back onto his left-hand side. So you'll see once we finish through here, um, you can see this trace that it creates, and it's called an X trace. And this is a trait of someone who's like a most long drive guys, um, when they're really creating power, this is how it shows up that they use the ground to create force. You see he lands back onto his left foot, and the pressure goes back up. So he's gone onto his left, pushed so hard, it's come off the ground, and he's gone onto his right, and he's been able to move back onto his left again. It's really interesting stuff. Um, to see how he can pick up some speed. So if you're someone that doesn't really use the ground or don't think they use their feet or the knees uh, as well as much as what you should do, uh, we can get you on pressure and we can see how we can get you moving better.